In this video, we are going to set up TinyCam on our NVIDIA Shield so we can set it up with sharp tools and effortlessly see all of our cameras in one place. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three simple steps to get started. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to install TinyCam Pro onto our NVIDIA Shield. And then that is going to allow us to put it onto our Sharp Tools dashboards and easily be able to see live streams of our cameras. So you may be wondering why an NVIDIA Shield? Well, the NVIDIA Shield is always at home. It's hardwired into my internet and it's always on. Now this will work on any Android device, but if you want the best performance, you want to set it up onto a powerful streaming device and the NVIDIA Shield is the best device for that. This will work on any Android device, but know that if you set it up, say, on a Fire tablet, um, you may have issues, and the issues may be with the Fire tablet, not necessarily your cameras or the setup. So you wanna make sure that you install it on something powerful enough to run your cameras. So let's go ahead and jump on our NVIDIA Shield and get TinyCam Pro set up. Okay, so we are over on our NVIDIA Shield and what we need to do is download the TinyCam Pro app. So what we need to do is just go over to the apps on the left-hand side. And once in here, you can either get more apps at the top or you can go down to the Google Play Store now once in the Google Play Store, you're gonna to have to search for TinyCam. So just go up to the top and go to the magnifying glass and just type in the search Tiny. And you can see at the top of our keyboard there, it says TinyCam Pro Swiss Knife to Monitor IP Cam. Just tap on that and it will give you all of the choices. So the one we want is the TinyCam Pro and we just need to tap on the install. Now I already downloaded this previously. If you didn't, you would have to purchase it. It is $3.99. And once you download it, you can get it on any of your Android devices that have the Google Play Store on it. So once this downloads, all we need to do is tap on the open. And then it's just gonna go through some setup stuff, but we're just gonna skip that and go to the check mark in the bottom right. Now it's gonna basically just open up a blank screen um, so if we go to the menu on the left hand side on the upper left corner there you can see we have a couple options live view background mode manage camera scan network tiny cam cloud um, but what we need to do is basically go into the settings and change a couple things first all right so once in the settings let's go into ui and behavior and let's change the theme to cyan just i think it just looks a little bit better and then we need to go down a little bit further to web server and then we just need to go down to the admin section and just delete the username in the admin section you can use this but in our example we're not going to use this and just hit the back and OK. And that is all we need to change here. Now at the top, you can see that your web server port number is here. If you needed to change this in the future, you can. Um, I would recommend changing it to something other than the default, um, just a little bit more secure. Um, but we'll get into the web server later in the video. We're just going to back out of this. And now we are back to this screen. And what we need to do now is add some cameras. So we're going to go over to the right and click on Add IP Camera NVR DVR. And in here, what you're going to do is you're going to have to first choose the camera brand. 
I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you all of the different camera brands that you can choose from. So there are a ton of camera brands in here. I'm just going to go through them slowly so you can see them and see if maybe you'll find one that is compatible with your cameras. We've got Amcrest there, Arlo. Blue Iris, Canon, Cisco, E-Link. This is a popular brand, but I don't know how to pronounce that. So, Oscam, GoPro. Hike Vision, Honeywell, Linksys, Logitech, Lorex, Nest is in here. Rio Link, Sony, Samsung, EP Link, Toshiba, Wise Labs, so that would be your Wise Cams, Xiaomi, Yale, YI, iOS, and that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and let's go to Wise Labs and then we will add our first camera. We choose that and then once you choose the brand you're going to have to choose the camera model so go down and tap on camera model so i have the wise cam without the pan and then what you're going to want to do is just come down here and type in your username and password that you use to log into the app of the manufacturer of the camera that you have so first you're going to have to set up the manufacturer's app then you will have your username and password because we are connecting using the cloud connection where you see the protocol there. So I am going to just type in my username and password real quick. Now when you go up to the top and you check the camera status, you can see that it does populate in the correct information and it's actually working. And you can see that we have three devices. We have our number one is our living room camera. Number two is the garage, and number three is Ari's room. Now um, we know that everything is working well, and you want to note down those numbers, the one, two, and three, so you can number your devices correctly when you add them. All right, so if we come back out of here, we can go down to the camera name now, and we can put in the camera name. Remember that was our living room. So we just need to delete this out. And also, when you are putting in your um, username and password, if you're using an email and you put a period in, for some reason mine was adding a space after the period, just be sure that you remove that space when you put in your username. All right, so now we have our camera named. So now if we go back, we will see our camera in the list. And if we go um, into that, it's just going to take us back into the settings. So we could change the settings if you needed to change it. And if you go over to the menu, you can go to live view. And you can see this is the live view of my Wise Cam with the watermark in the bottom left and the date and the time on the right hand side. So we have our first camera set up and everything is working well. There's also other settings in here, um, but I'm not going to get into those in this video. 
All right, so now what we can do is we can go to manage cameras again, and we can add um, some more cameras. We just tap on the manage cameras, and then just go over to add a camera again, and then you just follow the exact same process that we did. So I'm gonna add my other two WISE cameras, and I'm also gonna add a Arlo camera, just so you can see how you can bring more than one camera brand together in this single app. Now since this is our second camera that we've added, we need to go down to the advanced settings. Click on advanced settings, and then we need to change the channel number. So this is our second one, so we're gonna put number two. Click on the next, click on the back button, click over to OK, and that's good. So now we can back out of this. And if we go up to the top now and just check the status to make sure we typed everything OK, you can see that our number two camera is the garage. So we're going to change the camera name to garage. All right, so we have our second camera set up. Now if we go back, we have our two cameras here. We got our living room and our garage. All right, so this time we've added two WISE cameras. So this time I'm going to do an Arlo camera. So I'm just going to type in the search, A-R-L-O, and that will pull up our Arlo camera option. Just hit the done and choose Arlo camera. And this is set up the exact same way. So we have an Arlo app and we have a login for that app. There is no option for the camera model. Um, so let's go down and go ahead and type in our username and password. All right, now if we go up to our top and check on camera status, going to load in our Arlo cameras. And notice we have um, five total cameras, and the one we're going to add is the Arlo Backyard. So that is the number five camera. And then what we need to do is go all the way to the bottom and click on Advanced Settings and change our channel number to be number five, to match. All right, click OK. And now we can go back out of this, and now we have our backyard added. I'm going to go ahead now and add Ari's room real quick. All right, so I have all of the four cameras added. So you can see the backyard, the living room, the garage, and Ari's room are all added now. And the Arlo camera is battery powered. Um, so you typically would not want to add that because what it's going to do is going to completely kill my batteries pretty soon um, because it's going to be streaming constantly. So you probably don't want to use an Arlo camera if you have them unless you have them hooked up to power or solar power. And you can also choose on one and that will open it full screen. And if you arrow back and forth, it will um, switch between the cameras. So that is how you add your cameras to TinyCam Pro. And this will convert it to the correct format for your Sharp Tools dashboard to effortlessly stream these videos on a tap. So there is one other thing that we need to do so we can actually access these on our Sharp Tools dashboard. And what we need to do is we need to go out to the menu area again. And we just need to go down a little bit further down, all the way to the bottom. And we need to toggle the web server to be on. You have to have the web server on to be able to connect them to Sharp Tools. What you want to do is take a picture of your IP address and your port number. That way you have it for when we set it up in Sharp Tools. As you can see, it's very easy to add cameras to TinyCam, and it also works with a variety of brands, so you can bring all of your brands together. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or problems, leave them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video where we set this up with our Sharp Tools dashboard.